Hey guys, it's Alan J, Realtor and Associate Broker, Century 21, Kern Anoberski here in Southeast Michigan. Today we're gonna to talk about contracts. This video is designed to assist my buyers and my sellers out there understand exactly how a buyer's offer turns into a contract. It's actually quite simple, but still confusing to many. So I'm just gonna make it very simple to understand. When a buyer submits an offer to a seller, they use offering paperwork i.e. contract to purchase, purchase agreement. If the seller accepts that offer as is with no adjustments, it technically turns into a contract. However, most people, realtors, real estate brokerages, buyers and sellers, enjoy to have one more section fully executed by the buyer that acknowledges the receipt of the seller accepting their offer. This section is called the bottom line section. The bottom line section is in most contracts on the very last page at the bottom. That's why we call it the bottom line. And you will see as you read it, it will be similar verbiage to saying that the buyer acknowledges receipt that the seller has accepted their offer. Okay, so now you know that technically if a seller accepts the buyer's offer as is with no adjustments, it turns into a contract. Out of professional courtesy, the buyer should execute that bottom line just to make things very clear for all parties that they've accepted the seller's, or I'm sorry, they've acknowledged the seller's acceptance of their offer. It's not needed, but most people like to have it done. Here's when the bottom line becomes most important. Let's say the buyer submitted an offer to the seller and the seller made all these little adjustments. They said, no, you can't have the washer and dryer. No, I want you to close on this day, not the day that you presented. Uh, I need to live in the house five days after closing, all these little adjustments. That offer is actually now a counter offer back to the buyer. And the buyer has the option to initial all those adjustments and sign the bottom line which would then turn that offer into a contract. The bottom line is essentially saying, hey seller, I'll comply with your counter offer that you sent me. I'll initial, I'll agree with everything that you've changed and I will now bottom line saying that I am acknowledging what you're requesting in this counter and I'm going to accept it. Now you have a contract. All right, you guys, I hope that simplifies how offering paperwork turns into a contract. That bottom line will always get you. It's confusing for everybody, but I always advise my buyers and sellers just have the bottom line done regardless. Even if the offers accepted from the seller as is with no adjustments, it's still nice and professional courtesy for that buyer to execute that last section saying, hey seller, I accepted, or I'm sorry, I acknowledge the receipt of you accepting my offer. Even though you didn't make any adjustments, I'm still gonna sign this part of it. Either way, you still have a contract. If you have any questions, comment below. If you enjoyed today's content, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Keep calm, I'm your realtor.